Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster. And today we do have a ton of Star Wars The Black Series and Vintage Collection news to go over. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because we are actually doing a giveaway once we hit 5k. We are giving away... Well, that just fell over. But we are giving away this Arc Trooper Echo. You have to be subscribed to the channel to enter. And uh, yeah, we actually just hit 4k two days ago, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much. I do really, really appreciate it. I... I it means the world to me and yeah now we're almost to that 5k mark so like i said if you're not subscribed you've been watching for a while just kind of been watching in the shadows consider hitting that sub button it helps out a lot and uh you could maybe win yourself an arc trooper echo anyway first up in the news yesterday the next wave of mandalorian retro collection has actually been announced and did go for pre-order today it should still be in stock i uh i haven't checked so don't Quote me on that, but uh, you guys can definitely check it. It's up on all the fan channel websites. And yeah, this is a pretty banger wave, if I do have to say. I'm not a huge fan of the retro collection, especially when it does come to Mandalorian. Because uh, I think the original retro collection was good because it was more of the nostalgic kind of uh, throwbacks to the original figures. But these didn't have original figures, so it's just kind of bad in my opinion i know the first mandalorian retro collection wave peg warmed a ton and i don't think this one will as much because it does have a lot uh i guess better character selection but anyway in the wave is beskar mando this is a really cool looking figure everybody loves mando and he was one of the more popular ones from the wave and this one actually does have a soft goods cape which is pretty cool next up we also have Ahsoka from the Mandalorian this one I think is gonna be popular but she looks weird I I don't know what they did to her face obviously it's not gonna look as good as a photo real Ahsoka but this just looks really weird I'm, I'm not gonna lie with you yeah her face will haunt my nightmares <laughs> other than that we also do have the death trooper which I think is gonna do surprisingly well just because I think it came out surprisingly well I think uh, some troopers kind of peg warm not as much as some of the other like grief cargo quill but uh you know every once in a while figures like this peg warm especially whenever they are not like generic stormtroopers they're the different like specific types like a death trooper or a short trooper but this one came out really good i think the the green accents make it pop and i think overall it does look really good Next up, my personal favorite one from the wave is Boba Fett from Mando Season 2. He does have the repainted armor, which is looking really, really nice. Biggest problem is it is the wrong shade of green. Something I can look past, but it is a little interesting to see. But overall, it is really cool. Then there is also Bo-Katan, and cool idea, but <laughs> the fact is they they molded like her entire uh, torso in gray and so there's no different difference between the armor and the like undersuit i guess you could say so it just looks really weird it looks like like lazy paint job even though it's not painted at all it's just all molded in it just looks kind of lazy and i'm not a huge fan of how that came out and then last up is the armor this one's all right as well not my favorite i think this one is going to peg warm the most from the wave it's all right but yeah uh, if I'm going to pick any of these guys up, it's probably either going to be Beskar Mando or Boba Fett because they do look the best. In some very unfortunate news, the CEO of Hasbro actually did pass away yesterday. So thoughts and prayers to his family. But yeah, that is very, very unfortunate. I believe he did just take a sick leave two days before he did pass. So very, uh, very sudden, very unfortunate. And I did want to inform you guys. I don't think this is going to affect any of the Hasbro... Uh, figure lines at all but i did want to announce it the black series admiral rampart figure is actually hitting walmarts in canada so yeah if you did miss out on the original pre-order for this or if you did want Ram rampart at all check your local walmart in canada this is one i've passed on the pre-order for because i don't really care about the character he didn't do a whole lot in 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 the bad batch and i think this one's going to be decently uh a, a de decently sized peg warmer but um yeah it is still a pretty cool figure if you do want to pick it up it does come with a mouse droid one uh one of the best parts that i think the best part of the entire figure is the mouse droid but who knows the black series mortar trooper which is an amazon exclusive actually did go back up for pre-order so if you did miss on that miss out on that check amazon regularly because you never know when it's going to go back up in stock or for pre-order so yeah check it regularly if you did miss out and you want to get it and we actually already do have photos of this guy in hand which is very very surprising it is already showing up in malaysia so yeah um this guy does look really cool i do have to say uh I think it came out really well. One of the best Stormtroopers we've ever gotten, especially with all the accessories. So here's what he looks like out of the box with his mortar rig going. And 
it's pretty cool, I do have to say. I'm definitely impressed with this figure. Archive Wave 5 has actually been found at Disney Springs, so if you do live in the area of Disney Springs, go maybe make, make a car ride over to there because they have tons of the new Archive line. I'm guessing by now most of the 501st Troopers are sold out because, you know, people, they're going to buy 567 501st Troopers if they can find it, but uh, you never know, they might have restocked it by now. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you do live in the Disney Springs area, go check it out. You might find some lucky Black Series pickups. We also have images of the Black Series Gaming Greats 501st Jet Trooper out of the box as well. So this guy is already being uh, shipped, I believe it was in uh, Australia and Malaysia and that side of the world. It's already uh, out, which is really surprising. I know the shipping delays in the US have been really, really frustrating lately, and hopefully those get resolved. I'm guessing... Uh, Hasbro's goal is to get them, uh, I guess, fixed before Christmas so they can actually get products on the shelves for uh, parents and kids. But yeah, uh, it is looking really, really good though. I do love the Jet Trooper. It looks so good next to Hawk and Echo here. And uh, I really cannot wait to get the Archive 5 of first with this guy and, you know, Anakin and Rex. It's just going to look so good with the rest of the 501st. I cannot wait. And hopefully Fives is along the way with that but yeah I just wanted to show this off because the Jet Trooper is awesome. I don't remember if I've actually covered this on the channel or not but somebody did find the Walgreens exclusive 212th Trooper. We don't know how they got it but they got it and that's pretty cool I do have to say. Um, it's still not hitting stores yet and uh, it's not going up for pre-order. Uh, I think we've already figured that one out by now but yeah it's not been hitting stores yet but the fact that somebody has it in hand means I'm guessing it'll probably hit stores within next month or two hopefully not that long but yeah you know maybe, maybe take a stop by Walgreens every once in a while run in and you might get lucky and find it but yeah, not hitting stars yet. It's just super cool, and I hope we get some more high-definition photos uh, of it actually out of the box. For collectors in Germany, the new Black Series Mando Build-A Pack, the one with the Muddy Mando, is actually up for pre-order on Amazon. So if you are a German viewer and you do want this Muddy Mando Build-A Pack, go check Amazon because you should be able to pre-order it. The Best Buy exclusive credit collection Moff Gideon actually did get delayed. It does not have an estimated date on it anymore, so we don't know when this will finally ship. I'm guessing this has to do with all of the uh, recent shipping delays, like I said before. But um, yeah, I'm hoping as soon as those get fixed up, just floods of figures will be hitting the shelves. You can walk into any store and just find them because they've been, you know, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes just waiting in ports with no one to unload them. So once they finally start hitting stores, stores are going to be super stocked. And that's my goal, hopefully before Christmas, like I said, but who knows. The TVC Army Builder, like the Stormtrooper Army Builder 4-pack, I don't know the official name for this, but uh, this is actually starting to ship out. So if you did pre-order it from Hasbro Pulse or the Disney Store, it should be shipping out pretty soon. So check your emails because you might have a shipping notification or something to that extent. And yeah, this is a pretty cool pack. I hope they do this with the Black Series as like a uh, Stormtrooper 4-pack Army Builder. Not like different stormtroopers from each era but all the same stormtrooper i want four stormtroopers in one pack but you know we'll see if that actually happens i doubt and then last up in the news there is actually a new confirmed holiday wave coming to the black series which is either good or bad depending on how you feel about the wave i did not like the first wave i thought it was kind of pointless i, I really really didn't like it but i do have hope for this new wave because the one figure we do have confirmed is chewbacca and whenever i hear of a holiday chewbacca i think of like the lego advent calendars so give us like a snowy chewbacca kind of like that or a sand chewbacca but when i think of chewbacca i don't think troopers i think main characters so hopefully instead of giving us different like trooper variants they'll give us actual main character variants like give us a santa darth vader or a santa yoda or you know just christmas themed main characters rather than troopers and i would actually like that a whole lot more so with chewbacca coming hopefully that's what happens but i uh that's just my guess there's no real confirmation there might just be all troopers again and then chewbacca which I don't think it's going to happen because that's just kind of weird and out of place, so we'll see, but I I don't know. So yeah, that is going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy it, like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.